Hello everyone, it is a new week so that means one thing, we have a new word to look at right now and this week our word of the week is outreach. Now this word outreach for us it's not just about like trying to stretch your hand to get that last uh, to get the tube of Pringles on a Friday night or that last piece of pizza but actually the word outreach is about us being a guiding light. It's about us living our lives in a way that help us reach out to those in need, recognising them and helping them. And we're going to explore how we can do that today. But before we begin, we know what we need to do. It's time to welcome Jesus's presence into our worship as well. So shut your minds. Invite someone forward to light the candle on your focus table. And I ask you to join me as we make the sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So this week when we're talking about outreach, you've not just got me. We've got two of our senior students who are here to reach out to you, to introduce themselves, to help lead you, to help you then lead others as well in great acts of kindness. So I'm going to hand over to Mia and Alice today. Outreach is like a beacon of love and kindness. It means reaching out to others with open hearts and helping those in need. In the Bible, we are taught about the importance of outreach. And today we'll be exploring the passage from Matthew's Gospel. But I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to see, visit me. This passage from the book of Matthew reminds us of Jesus' teachings about caring for others. He wants us to reach out and help those who are hungry, thirsty, lonely, in need or suffering. You see, outreach isn't just an act of kindness, it's a way to follow Jesus' footsteps and show his love to the world. Think about it this way. When you help someone in need, you're not doing a good deed, you're also showing them God's love and spreading the message of his light. Every small act of outreach can make a big difference in someone's life. We take a moment now to pray in silence together. We pray for those in need. We pray for all those who are hungry, homeless or in need. May we reach out to them with love and support just as Jesus taught us. Lord in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For our family and friends. Let us pray for our family and friends that we may always be there for them in times of joy and sorrow, showing them kindness and understanding. Lord in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For our school community, we ask for God's blessing upon teachers, classmates and everyone in our school. May we create a caring and supportive community where everyone feels valued. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For those who feel alone, Lord, we pray for those who feel lonely or isolated. Help us to be good friends and companions to those who need it the most. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For those who are sick, we lift up in prayer for those who are unwell. May they feel comforted and cared for, and may they receive the healing they need. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For peace in the world. We pray for end to conflict and violence in our world. Help us be the peacemakers and promote harmony in our communities and beyond. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For those who serve others, let us give thanks for the teachers, healthcare workers, and all those who dedicate their lives to serving others. May they find strength and fulfillment in their work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the earth, we pray for the earth, our beautiful home. Help us to be good stewards of creation, caring for the environment and all living creatures. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the courage to reach out. 
Lord, grant us the courage to reach out to those we may not know well, but who need our support. May we overcome our fears and be a beacon of hope for others. Lord, in your mercy. For, our, for guidance in our outreach, we finally ask God for God's guidance in our outreach efforts. May he lead us in choosing the right actions to make a positive impact on the lives of those we touch. Lord, in your mercy. Now let's talk about how we can live out the word outreach. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to perform one act of kindness in the week. It can be helping a friend with their homework, lending a hand to a neighbour, or simply listening to someone who needs to talk. Remember, even the smallest acts of kindness can have a big impact. And as we end our worship together today, I ask you to join with me in prayer. So perhaps bow your heads or focus at the candle on the screen. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for teaching us about outreach and showing us the way to spread your love. Help us to be kind and caring, to reach out to those in need and to be a shining light in this world. May our actions reflect your love and grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm going to ask you to get out there with your hearts full of love, ready to make a positive impact to everyone around you. Remember, we're not reaching out for the slices of pizza on a Friday evening. We're reaching out with whatever we've got, our words, our kindness, our actions to those who need it. Let's do it, everyone. Have a beautiful week and I'll see you soon. Bye.